All right, well now SPX has gone up a little bit. As you can see, the MACD is crossed over. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at selling some calls here in SPX. Um, kind of uh, the call side of an iron condor. So I'm gonna look down here at around the nine delta. Uh, that's kind of my sweet spot. I'm gonna click on sell and I'm looking to buy a wing that's about a nickel away. So usually it's about 30 points wide, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So let's go 25 points wide and click on buy here. So I'm gonna jack that price up by a nickel and we'll see if we can get one contract in on that guy and I'll confirm and send. And so I'm gonna take that same trade and I'm gonna go into some other accounts that I have a little bit more buying power in and I'm gonna do 10 contracts on that uh, in this account. All right, so confirm and send. So those are, are working. We'll take a look at the SPX chart now. So if that pops up uh, another a couple points or so, it should take it. And then what I'll do is I'll, once it takes it, I'll set up a uh, stop loss at three times the credit received. So if that was, uh, I'll go into monitor, it's trying to get, um, that didn't go off. So I don't know, Toss has been having some problems today. So let's see what happens if I try to put that. Oh, it came in now. So if in fact I get that at 55 cents, so uh, I usually round up. So if I round it up to 60 times three, I would st set the trigger at a buck 80 and a, a top order stop loss at 210. So once uh, that goes off, I'll set the stop loss and we'll, we'll take it from there. 